Well, I hope all this new stuff doesn't make him too menacore. <laughs> I know. Hey! What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the DNA Design DK38 upgrade kit for Legacy Menasaur. So here we are, and there it is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging right up front. We just have an image of uh, Menasaur's chest, because hey, he says it with his chest. DK38 Legacy Combiner Upgrade Kits. Again, never know why that's plural. There's only one kit in here, but on the side, we have DK38 on this side, DK38 up top, DK38 on the bottom words, things, barcodes on the back of the box, obligatory product shots, and that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have the upgrade kit for Legacy Menasaur, and here is everything that you get. Well, almost everything. I have some parts already installed, but here is what we get with this kit, and we'll run through everything. So first thing is some uh, some feet add-ons here, so we can give them some bigger toesies. Uh, we get a new crotch plates because hey, new crotches. Why not? Hey, new crotches. He gets a replacement chest piece here. Which is nicely done. A lot more g one uh, We get some new hips. I already have one installed, but this is one of the new hip pieces. It's done in black. We get new poseable hands here. Which have lots of articulation. A nice and poseable here. Get lots of joints up and down. You get a rotational joint here at the thumb. Or uh, hinge here, hinge here. And each finger is on a hinge at the base. You also have these hinges that allow the fingers to splay out. And you have a hinge there and a hinge there. So you have lots of posability now with the fingies. Quite, quite nice. Um, we got these pieces here, these purple pieces, which are purely, uh, really they're just for decoration. They're just to add some extra detail <laughs> to some other parts here, as well as this. Again, this is just to kind of add some extra detail. Again, some more bits and bobs that we will show off what they are for in a little bit. And we get a new sword a nice menasaur size sword with the handle done in black, the blade done in a nice silver, and definitely much better than the uh, the stock sword that we got with the figure. This one was very uh, kind of underwhelming. This one is definitely more befitting of the mighty menasaur. So there is everything we get with the kit. Oh, and also we get uh, some hardware. We get some skinnies. But yeah, that is everything. So let's bring in the mighty Menasaur and show off how all of this works. So here we have Menasaur's legs, and I figured we'd start from the bottom and work our way up. So how these work is you want to make sure these, uh, these indents are facing the inside. And all you're going to do here is just drop the existing foot down and just slide it forward, and it will just lock itself into place. And it just gives him some bigger toesies, and you can see it gives him an extra little bit of height there. And we'll do the same thing here. Second verse, just like the first, just drop the toe in, slide that forward. That'll just lock itself into place. And there you go, he has his new toesies, and now he has what? Say it with me. Now he has great strength of feet! So now let's move on to the hips, and as you can see, I already have one installed, and again, it's going to give him some extra height there. So this is when we have to do some surgery, so what we need to do is we need to undo these two screws right here. So let's do that right quick. And once that is done, we're just going to take this apart. Be mindful, there's a spring in here. So you're gonna take the leg apart. We're keeping this, and we're keeping the spring. So this is going to transfer over. So just remove that. So there we go, out with the old, and in with the new. So what you're gonna do here, you're gonna take this apart, and we'll just get one side situated here. Make life a little bit easier. So what's gonna happen here is you have these little posts on either side right here, and you have a little port right here. It's going into this port right here. And obviously you want the spring to go with it. 
So this part can be a little tricky because you're dealing with a spring and you have to kind of get everything lined up just right. So get that spring sitting under that panel. And now you have to perform the unenviable task of now getting this panel on and getting this post into that little port right in there and holding everything in place whilst doing so. It's a little bit of a chore, but it is doable. Okay, so once you have that in place, that should work just fine and move as it should. So make sure you keep that pinched because otherwise it's going to unseat itself. So get that pinched, get your screw. I would definitely recommend do the bottom one first and just kind of get it started to hold that in place. There you go. Oops, and it popped out again. It's 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 going to be a bit of a chore. It's a chore. It's it's a chore. But get things seated. Get things seated. Work with me. Work with me. Okay, that's better. Alrighty. Now we get the top one in. Get that party started. And now, whiskey. Okay, so once you have all that nice end and snuggin, again, everything should work as it should. There you go. Some nice rotation there at the thigh. Nice smooth rotation. And there he has his new thighs. So now we have to do some surgery on his butt here so we can give him his new crotch. That's right, I said it. So what we need to do here is undo these one, two, three, four, five screws. So we'll do that real quick. And once that is done, you're just going to, again, just take all this apart. Again, be very careful. There you go. Remove that. Got some screws stuck in there. I'll get those out because <laughs> I need to. So remove the legs. Just work that out right there. Remove the crotch. Now you will need to get these little tab pieces out because those are what we'll, what we'll need for the ratchet. So take those out, put those off to the side because those will transfer over to the new part. So take that out, put that off to the side and we don't need this crotch anymore. Bye-bye crotch. Bye-bye. We don't need you anymore. Out with the old crotch, in with the new crotch. So now these pieces are gonna go into said new crotch. Just drop those in. Get those into place. You may need some tweezers for this. I think I'm gonna get some tweezers for this. Yeah, tweezers definitely help with that. Okay, so we got those in there. Hooray, hooray for getting things in there. So now all we have to do is uh, just put everything back in, put his legs back in, like so. Bring his butt plates back in and get everything all situated again and we're going to use the screws that they provided and we're gonna get to uh we're, we're gonna get the screw in his butt so yeah that's 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 what we're gonna do we're gonna screw his butt don't i that just just don't all right and that is done and there we have Menosaur's new crotch, and now he just has some uh, some hip flaps here to accommodate his leg movements. There we go. So everything is back in working order. So now we have his new thighs, his new crotch. Hooray for new thighs and new crotches. Now as far as the new chest piece goes, it's just a simple case of just pop this one off. It's just pegged in. So just pop it off. Pop this on, and voila, he has a more g one chest plate. If that's the thing you want to do, just slap a Decepticon symbol sticker on it, and you are good to go. So now for the new hands, we have to perform a little bit of surgery here as well. So we just have two screws right here, which we need to undo. And once that is done, you just split the hand in half. Like so, you want to keep this little bit right here for the ratchet, that will transfer over. So now we bring in the new hand, that will split in half. And then we just take this bit, it will just 
drop right in there. Put the two halves together. Thusly. And we're going to use the screws that they provide. Now you get two lengths of screws. You get longer ones and shorter ones. You're using the, uh, the shorter ones here for the hands. So... Just get these started and uh, get the screw in. And once that is done, these guys' new posable hands, nice and ratchety, nice and posable. It's all good in the neighborhood. Now he has new hands. Yay! So there is Menasaur all kitted out now. And uh, yeah, as you can see, it gives him a bit more height. Now to the top of his head, I'm not counting the horns, to the top of his head, he now stands at about 13 inches tall. So it gives him definitely some considerable extra height. He's not Titan sized or anything now, but it gives him a little extra height. But yeah, the new stuff looks good on him. I'm a fan. I definitely like it. Now, as far as the sword goes, you can store this on his back. Um, they give you this piece right here, which I forgot to uh, show off when I was doing the initial run through of all the parts here. You get this piece here, and what's going to happen is you have this tab right here, which is going to go into this slot. Now, there is a bit of a fitment issue. It's a little too tight, and it has a tendency to want to kind of pop itself out. So you have to like really like push this thing in. Um, so yeah, this is definitely a case of you could probably stand to do some shaving of the tab or shave the slot but there we go you can get that in there and then that will go into the port on his back like so and it just popped out <laughs> so yeah definitely a bit of a fitment issue there but you can probably shave that down and get that to stay but that's that's definitely that's annoying we got it there you go it stayed in <laughs> but there you go see so you can store it on his back but again that connection is a bit off so it doesn't take much to kind of pop it right off so yeah definitely if I need to shave a little bit just to make that fit a lot better, but hey, it's storage if you want storage. And of course, Menasaur can wield his new sword. And it is just a typical tab in the slots of the palm method of weapon holding. It's right there. And you just take it, plug it into his hand, wrap his fingers around it. He holds it nice and securely. And there you go. He has his big old sword and that is definitely a sword much more befitting of this mighty robot so now let's talk about these bits right here and these bits are for this chunk right here this chunk of the trailer that is you know mostly useless i know some people like plug it onto the back of menasaur as like a wing pack or something I, I don't do that again your toy displayed however you wish but for me uh no um this just gets left off to the side so they actually did try god bless dna they tried to actually make this useful more useful in combined mode and you know it, it's 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 a thing you can do it's a thing you can do but to show off how this works first we're going to bring in this piece right here and this does have an actual orientation because it bends one side more than the other so you want it so it can actually angle down at 90 degrees so you want to open up this back section here and this is just going to slot in right here and then sandwich between these two parts like that and then you're going to bring in this piece right here and this will plug into these two ports here so you just drop that down that will sit there like that these two purple pieces are going to plug into these ports up here on either side like that and like that and then you just take this one and swing it under so it's sitting like so this piece right here is going to tab onto this slot right here right up front like that and then you bring in the double barreled cannon and this will just plug in right there like that and now all this becomes just a big old like double barreled bazooka thing again god bless them they're trying to make this useful trying to make it actually look like something you know hey why not dare i say why not so how this is going to work is you want his hand balled up in a fist and you're just going to feed his hand into this opening here. And this post is going to go into this port right here. And that's what's going to secure that in. And now Minasaur just has this giant cannon on his hand and you can kind of have him holding it with two hands. Again, it takes some finagling, but you know, you can kind of get that working. I'm not going to waste time trying to get him posed here, but you know, again, it's a thing you can do if you want to do it. Again, God bless them. They tried to do something with it. I mean, it, it kind of works, kind of, sort of, you know, hey, maybe, I don't know. 
<laughs> I don't know if I'll display him with this, but, you know, hey, it's an option, and as always, options are good. So now, if you want to do the base mode, there's a little bit different that you're going to do. Um, basically, these extra pieces, you're going to leave where they are. Obviously, you're going to put this cannon in this configuration. But what you're going to do with this piece is now you're going to just have it plugged in this way. So it's now facing forward. And then you're going to bring in this bit here, and this will plug into that. And then you just take this in and just tab it in. As it was before, you tab in because it's normal. There we go. Cooperate. Cooperation. It's a wonderful thing. But there you go. So that's all you're doing differently for the base mode. You know, just to give it some extra detail there. And also, when you're doing base mode, you can't use their chest piece because their chest piece doesn't have the connection points for the arms. I mean, you can always, I guess, just lay them there. But again, if you want it to be actually functional, you want actual connection, then you want to use the original one because this one does not have those connection points for them. So now to get everything transformed up into truck mode, we're going to start off with the feet here. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up this panel here. We're going to open up this panel. Then you're going to take the foot. You're going to slide it in and then rotate it up. And just leave that like that for now. Second verse, just like the first. Open that up. Open that up. Slide the foot over and then flip that up. And we have that going on for now. Now, to get the main body transformed up, you do have to go back to the stock chest. So, you just transform this as usual. Just flip those down, rotate the waist, swing all this around. Now, with the crotch plate, you have these panels here. You want to fold those all the way up like that. Then you want to take the thighs and you want to rotate them out 90 degrees. So... These slots are now facing you. And once you've done that, you can just bring these down. They will just heat themselves right in there. Like that. And you got that going on. So now as far as the legs go, you're just going to transform these as you did before. Just snap that into place. Um, they want you to take this bit right here and just store it in this opening in the bottom of the foot. For safekeeping. Now, as far as this purple piece goes, uh, we'll close this up first. So now we're going to bring in this section here, the uh, the blaster section. So one thing you have to be mindful of is you want, when you have these, these pieces tucked in here, you want these two posts on the bottom because you need the clearance. So now you can take this and drop it in. You can see how that works out there. So you're going to do the same thing on the other side. So now once you plug the two halves together, like so, those bits now stay nice and secure in there. They'll rattle around a little bit, but they are secure. They're not going to fall out. So now it's time to store the sword. Now the sword comes apart. It separates into three components. So you just pull off the handle and then these two sections of the blade just slide apart like that. So what we're doing here is we're bringing in this section and the very tip is going to have this tab. It'll go into this screw hole right in there. And that will be your storage for that. Then you're going to use this tab. It will go in here on the other side, like so. And that's how you will store the blades of your sword. The handle, as you can see here on this side, you have this, basically this clip right here, which is going to go over these tabs right here. Now, this is how you want the hands oriented. They want this hand palm down, this hand palm up, and that's the only way they will go. So just drop that down, and that should clip in right there, and then I just want you to take the thumb and just kind of shift it over, I guess, just to hold it in place. But it doesn't fall out anyway, but that's what they want happening there. And once you've done that, you can just connect everything together, get everything lined up. And there you go. You got that section all situated and ready oops and <laughs> ready to go so now they want you to bring in this little bit right here and this is going to go into this little groove right here using this tab right here and this is just going to drop up and just sit right there one thing to note also with the sword stored in there like it doesn't allow this back section to close up completely well because now like there's a lot of real estate being taken up in there so it 
doesn't allow that to sit perfectly. You may end up with a gap. Again, your mileage may vary, but on mine anyway, you kind of end up with a little bit of a gap back there. But anyway, we got that going on. So now let's come back to all of this here. So this will just wrap around as it did before and just drop all this down, drop all this down, get all together, bring that down, get all nice and frozen like that. And now what's gonna happen is we're gonna bring in these new sections with the feet and you have a post and a tab here which will go into this port and slot right here. So just line it up and just drop that down. Again, get it all nice and frozen. Get that all situated. Do the same thing on the other side. Just line that up. And you want to make sure that these two sections here hook together. Drop that down. Like that. Again, make sure that's connected. Like so. And now we have this going on. And now we bring in the two halves of the trailer and we merge. Just get it all together. Get it all nice and squozen. And there we go. Now uh, Motor Master has a bit of an extra large trailer and this part fell out. And this part is relying on the friction of just two pieces that are not <laughs> totally connected there. But, you know, there you go. Now you have Motor Master's new extra long trailer. And then we're going to bring in this piece right here and this will just go over that port right there like that and we'll bring in this piece and this will just sit under it like so and hold that in place right there and the last thing to do is just bring in motor master himself just plug that trailer on like so and there you go there you have the full effect with everything, well, almost everything stored. And as you can see, he has a more complete looking trailer here up front, which is nice, makes the trailer a little bit longer. Again, you know, things are not perfect. Things back here, as you can see, you have gaps because not everything, you know, it's it's just taking up a little extra space than it needs to. But for the most part, everything comes together pretty well. Um, the only thing I'm kind of bummed out about is that you can't do anything with the new chest piece. This chest piece is just, the instructions don't say what to do with this. It doesn't seem like it goes anywhere. I don't know. Would have been nice if you could have maybe plugged underneath somehow. I don't know, but you know, things, stuff, whatever. But that is basically it. So there you go. So there you have the Legacy Menasaur upgrade kit. And um, yeah, it's not a bad kit. It's a decent kit. It definitely does a good job at, you know, what it sets out to do. Gives him some extra height, gives him a better sword. Um, again, you know, God bless him for wanting to, you know, make that big chunk of the, uh, of the trailer a bit more useful, turning into just this big bazooka cannon thing. Hey, you know what? Options. There are some fitment issues here and there with some pieces, especially when you're getting them into trailer mode. Again, you end up with some gaps here and there, which is unfortunate. Um, again, a shame you can't do anything with the new chest piece in truck mode. There's no way to plug it onto. So, yeah, would have been nice if they found a way to just have it transform with the trailer like the original chest piece could. But, oh well, it is what it is. So definitely some room for improvement here and there, but all in all, not a bad piece of kit here. So there you go. Now, if you would like this or any of DNA Design's other offerings, you can check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There'll be a link in the description down below so you can check that out. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games. Check out Love, Peace, Paranormal. Follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the DNA Design DK38 upgrade kit for Legacy Menasaur. And this is MGo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Big geek, be proud. Bomb in your face.